Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. We are adding content to CheapControls.com so you can download some extra documents used in this video. I had a question come in about a simple countdown timer using the Nexion display, feeding a Nano or feeding some sort of Arduino, and then a relay. Normally, I like to answer these by just referring back to another video, and I thought for sure I had done a countdown timer at some point, but I guess I never did. So this video is going to be just a simple um, countdown timer where you'll be able to set a second timer in the Nexion display, and then you'll start that timer, and it'll count down, and it'll trigger a relay. And then just to make it a little more interesting, I'm going to take that relay and I'm going to backfeed it into a GPIO pin on the Nexion display and then do some timing with that. I'm going to go over the display. The top two buttons up and down are going to increment and decrement that number field. I'm going to start the number field at 1. And you can see the up field or the up button is going to increment that number value by 1. But I'm also going to use a system variable, and that's up here in this program S, this SYS0. And I'm going to initially set that to 1, 2. Normally, when you default, these are all set to 0. And the reason I'm going to also store it in that system variable is when I hit the start, I'm going to count this number down. But when I hit 0, I want it to go back to wherever it was set at. Now, I'm not going to put any restrictions on the up but I am going to put one on the down. So as long as the down is greater than one, we're going to subtract one every time we push it. And then we're also going to store that up in that sys val, or that sys zero val. The number field is just a field to display. And for the start, I've added this relay timer down here. I've called it relay timer, and it's just going to enable it. That way I won't have to keep a variable or anything, because the variable will essentially be this n0. This relay button, when it's pressed, it's going to send a command to the Arduino that says CC timer end. So my plan is, is when the timer hits 0, the relay, and I'll get to that code in a minute, is going to send a command to get the start time setting. And then when the relay gets triggered up here, it will get an end time. And then we're going to push that time in over here. And once again, this is kind of like the number field. It's just a generic text field. The relay, every time it hits one second, because I have the timer set to one second, every time it hits one second, it's going to decrement this n0 by 1. And so as long as it's greater than zero, it'll keep counting down. But once it hits zero, it's going to reset this n0 back to the sys value, value, sys zero value. It's going to disable the timer, because remember, all the start button did was enable the timer. So we have to disable it so it doesn't start over again. And then we're going to print that other command, or that other string. C colon C, TMR, timer because all of my commands are three characters, and then the, the value is going to be start, and then it's going to end in a question mark. And I'll go over this in the other, when we get to the Arduino, my, my structure for this. So this is a pretty simple design. I'll run it in debug here. So when I start it, if I go up, it increments that number field. If I go down, it decrements. It should stop at one, and it does. So we'll go to three or four. When I hit start, this should count down. And then when it hits a certain value, it should print something down here. We'll change this to a string and we'll clear it. And then this, so this went back to four. And we printed that C colon C and then TMR for timer start question mark. Now, if I hit this relay button, we should also print a string. And we get the same thing, only we get end instead of start. We're going to use the feedback from the Arduino to press this relay button. And we do that 
in this post initialize tab on the main page, I configured my CF GPIO pin or the PIO pin. And seven is the ID of the GPIO pin or PIO pin. And there's zero through seven is one through eight. One, it's off the screen here, but it's an input that's bound to an item on this display. And six is the ID of the item. And this is this relay button. It is ID number six, you can see right here. So now whenever that GPIO pin goes to the state up or high or low, it will change the state of this. Now we'll go over to the Arduino and I'll show you that code. Now my Arduino code is, is pretty simple in this one. I use my standard, um, my default beginning code where I have my information for the delay itself up here, this async delay. I use, I'm using a nano, just a straight nano, so I need to use a software serial and I use pins two and three from my receive and transmit over to the nection, and that's why I have serial two. If you're using a mega, you can just comment these lines out. But I'm also sending that TMR start and TMR end. So I've got these two long variables here. I'm going to start them at zero. Oh, this should have been set at 9600. I'm going to use pin five as the output that I'm going to tie to the input on the nection. Now my loop, I just do two functions. If there's serial two has data available, in other words, if the nection sent me anything, I run this input function. And every time the asynchronous delay counts up or down to whatever I need it to count to, it will run this delay function. And right now, I have my asynchronous delay set to run every second. I don't believe I have anything. There's nothing happening in the delay function on this video. It's just going to turn that pin 13 on and off. On the input function, every time I pass this function, I'm going to read one character at a time. I'm going to store it in this DFD. Now, my first three characters I use as the delimiter, C colon C. So as long as I get that C colon C as my first three, it's going to go down into here. And then I look for my question mark right here. And once I get the question mark, I know I've got my complete command. And then this one here splits it into the command. It takes the second three characters. So the first three are C colon C, the next three are the command. And then this next line gets the value, which can be any length. If I get the command TMR, then I execute this if statement. And if I have the start value, I record my current milliseconds. And then what I do is I write that output high. And so by setting that output high, I make that button on the Nection display go. And then I send from the Nection display, I get that timer end. And then I take that timer end and I record the milliseconds at that point. And then I set that back to low. And then I end up after I go to the end, I, I write the value, this timer end minus timer start, I write it up to that T0 text box. And you need this, you need to put quotes around what you send to a text box. So I need to escape it with this backslash. And that's all I do for the Arduino. Now I'm going to switch over and I'll show you it functioning. So I've got this, the GPIO pins coming over to this two relay module. And then I have this orange wire right here. So I have two relays, so my first two are, are inputs or outputs only. But then I have the other six are up here on this header pin. It's not really very clear in this shot, but that's what these are header pins. And I have this orange cable going over to the relay output and then fed back into the display. And I just have this grounded for the other side of the relay. Because these things are um, pull-ups, so it's normally sitting at five volts. So when I flip the relay, I'm gonna pull it down to ground. And then this is the line that controls the relay, and that's all there really is to it. And just for testing, 
I'm going to move this to a ground. And you can see that that relay goes high. So we're using that GPIO pin or PIO pin to control the button. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust this number up. So I've set the timer and now I'm going to hit start. When it hits zero, you'll see the relay should, but it'll flash. So it's really fast. Oh, I had the mouse over. So it was 35 milliseconds is the time it took. So I can adjust this. And that time it was 39 milliseconds that it took between the get the start and get the end, those two commands. So this video was pretty simple. I just set up a a way to increment and decrement this value. If you hit the start button, it counts down. When it counts down to a certain level, it sends a string to the Arduino. And then the Arduino interprets that string and flips a relay. Or really, it's just flipping an output. And then you have that output hooked up to a relay. And then just for fun, I send the signal back in through a GPIO pin. And then I send a second thing to the Arduino and then update how many milliseconds it took between sending the first timer statement and the second timer statement. Well that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.